Hi, and welcome to an overview of the spreadsheet for Chapter 7. So Chapter 7 is analyzing common stocks. So if you go to Chapter 7, there's a number of formulas that we need to look at. And from the spreadsheet, I have this note, see textbook Chapter 7 formulas, page 274 to 282. So let me go to 274 here. Okay, so you can see here that these pages contain the formulas and the information about these calculations that you're going to be making in the spreadsheet. So it's important to read over this section so you understand what the formulas are that you're going to be using to complete this spreadsheet. Okay, so this spreadsheet I have a little mini industry, which is McDonald's, Wendy's, and Yum. Yum is the parent company to Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, KFC. So what I have is their stock prices and some key financial information from each of these companies. Sales, revenues, cost of goods sold, gross profits, uh, SG&A expense, depreciation, amortization, um, operating income, EBIT as it's called. So a couple of just pertinent information. And I created an industry average over here, which I just added the three, um, added the, the three different uh, inf the information from three different companies together and then I divided by three. Here's the formula bar. Okay. Now down here, this is the part you're going to fill out, the financial ratios. So I want you to um, and create formulas to calculate all of these financial ratios. Okay. And the first one, current ratio. So we're going to go back to the textbook here. And I try to put them in order of how they're displayed in the textbook. All right. So here we have, make this bigger. Here we have current ratio, current assets divided by current liabilities. So we go into the spreadsheet, we hit plus, and then we look for current assets, total current assets divided by total current liabilities. Okay, so 2.61 would be my current ratio. So now, an easy thing to do, once you have this filled out in the spreadsheet, you could just uh, click on the corner here when the white plus turns into the black plus, and you can just drag this across, and now you have it filled out, uh, except for the average. The average you're gonna have to uh, calculate, but you can easily just copy a formula from above, and put that in here, which is um, the three cells divided by three. Or you could also put in a formula. So we couldn't put in a formula average. So we want the average formula and we just highlight. So double click this and then we'll just highlight these three numbers and click OK and we'll create an average formula And we also want to um, keep the format the same. So, okay, so this would be the average of the three. Okay, so then quick ratio, we would go in and then on the next page here, we would find the, the, the quick ratio formula. And then uh, I'm not using networking capital. Go to the next page and we have accounts receivable turnover formula, uh, inventory turnover. So if you go to the spreadsheet, you'll see that quick ratio, accounts receivable turnover, inventory turnover. So I want you to translate the formula from the textbook using the information above to enter in your formulas here to fill out this worksheet. Once the worksheet is completed, and some of the, I might have some formulas in here that are not in the textbook. In that case, I left you a little note on how to calculate uh, those formulas. I put the formula right in the spreadsheet. So once you're done, uh, completing this spreadsheet, I want you to answer this question. Based on the financial ratios, which company do you feel is the best investment? Fix that. Is the best investment? Question mark. So you can answer that in the text box below. So you would just um, type in here, whatever your answer is. 
Okay, and then and that's it. So that's it for this spreadsheet. Pretty simple spreadsheet, just meant to reinforce the uh, creating the formulas from chapter seven and interpreting the formulas. So when you write up this, um, what do you feel is the the company's the best investment? I want to hear information about these ratios. So I want you to mention all these ratios in here and give to give support to which company you feel is the best uh, investment out of these three companies. Okay, so that's it for the spreadsheet. A pretty simple one for Chapter 7, but yet it covers uh, most of the material in Chapter 7 and reinforces. Is this what an analyst would do when they're looking at this uh, information, different companies' information, to compare them together in a similar industry to get an idea of which company would be the best company to invest in? Okay, thank you and have fun with this assignment.